For the last eight years, Lord Sugar has been searching for an apprentice. His latest quest brings him to a very famous part of East London. Right, Francis, these CVs, they don't look much. This is 250 grand of my money at stake here. So who's my first Muppet? Alfie? What, at the pub? Good. I might need a drink after this. Yeah, all right, keep the noise down. What's the matter with you? Oh, hello, mate. Um, you're not, you're not the Vat Man, by any chance, are you? Do I look like a bleeding Vat Man? I'm here to talk about entrepreneurial spirit, and by that, I don't mean a load of dodgy vodka. No, of course not. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, Alfie Moon. Yeah, so, um, when do I start? Start? I've got your CV here. Barman at the Queen Vic. Mm-hmm. Bar manager at the Queen, Queen Vic. Vic. Yes. Landlord Lord at the Queen, Queen Vic. Vic. Yeah. You don't get out much, do you? Well, you know, I have been to Spain. You know, hear me out. Hola, como esta? Wow. Yeah, I heard you ended up in Nick there doing a bit of paella. Yeah, well, you know, pubs, prisons, all the same behind bars, isn't I? Have a bit of a chance, isn't I? Where'd you get this CV? What do you mean? In a raffle. I am the Del Boy yeah, of business. business. They see, they said that's me, isn't it? Oh, that, that's who I am. You're no chancer. You're no Del Boy. No. I mean, this place should be making millions. Yeah, There's not another pub for three miles in the area. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not interested. Ow. Ta da. Ow, ow, Bye. ow. Listen, with your money, mate, I could turn this place into a household name. <sighs> What money? Francis, no, hopeless. Alfie, in business, easy to get. Dot cotton to break dance. Right, who's next? Lord Sugar. Hold on, who are you? I'm, um, on, I'm on the phone. Yeah, I, um, I work in creating interconnectivity between business and homes, providing a, a global delivery service. You're a postman? Yes, yes I am. You know, we used to own the RG Bargy. Well, here's my business plan. Chicken Bindaloo by post. The finest Asian cuisine delivered within 10 working days. 10 days old Vindaloo? Huh. You want to give that to them West Ham players, make them run a bit faster, son. They'll be blowing more than blinking bubbles. I'm not interested. Uh, Matt, I've got a little job for you. Sorry, Francis, who's the other one? Tell me it's not Wellard. Ian, Bill. Ah, mate. Got some turnips here? Yeah, I know. I just met two of them. Mr Bill, Walford's very own cereal businessman. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. You've got a catering business, right? Uh, no. Um, I kind of gave it to my daughter for free. And what about the chippy and the calf? Them as well. Why would I want to go into business with someone who keeps giving away his businesses? Yeah, well, I, I have got other plans. Oh, what's that? Jelly deals? Bills on eels? I'm not interested, sorry. I, I, I was Wolf of Community Charitable Trust Businessman of the Year. Really? Yeah. Well, I got a certificate once from the Jewish Lads Brigade and a BAFTA. Yeah, and I won Young Businessman of the Year. Did you? Yeah. You better get him to help you out then. Nah, this is hopeless. There's no business around here. You know what? You got more chance of selling Phil Mitchell a comb. Yeah, I thought the East End was full of entrepreneurs. Now, I'm not going to tell you again. Do one. What well, chicken vendaloo? Hey, Lord Sugar doesn't need you bothering him. Go. Morning, Oi. your lordship. What are you up to? Well, I'm just keeping the local hoi polloi at bay. Don't know what they're like around here. Smell money a mile off. That's why you need someone like me around, you know? Got a local knowledge. What are you, then? A cockney sat nav? No, 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 no. You see, I'm thinking about getting into the personal security business. I was thinking of applying to the dragons, then. You don't want to be talking to those five wise monkeys, mate. You want to be talking to the organ grinder. Evan Davis. No, you dozy pillock. Me! You? You wouldn't be interested in my high-end business appealing exclusively to top-notch clientele. You're dead right there, but I could use you for looking after my car. Billy, you're hired. 